To those ever united in thought with me, I bring full security and personally attend to their needs. It was 17 years ago that the illustrious Shankaracharji, His Holiness Pandit Hari Prasad, declared Swaha an official entity with these scriptural words as its watchwords. On the 15th of April 1993, Swaha was incorporated and began operation as a Hindu-based, non-profit, humanitarian organization. Its aim was simple and succinct, to cater to, care, and provide for the multiple needs of the Trinidad and Tobago community, both here and on foreign grounds as well. The late Shankaracharji identified and heeded a call for change among Hindu Sanatanists. Swaha has undergone numerous changes with the passing of our dear Shankaracharji on April 15, 2008. The organization has held its ground in the Hindu community and has grown from strength to strength with its successor, His Holiness Paramacharya Pandit Hardev Pasad at the helm. To date, Swaha comprises six centers. They are Gyan Dipakirtan Mandali, Tulsi Manas Mandir, Devya Ashram, Sri Ram Dham, Sukshanti Bhakti Mandali, and Gyan Jyoti Mandali. The branches of Swaha include Antar Jyot, Sansar Jyot, Dharma Jyot, Kashi Vishwanath, Gyan Bhakti, and Om Shakti Mandali. The five affiliate branches are Londonville Hindu Mandir and Shiv Shankar Sabha of Shagonas, Dharma Incorporated and Bhavani Ashram, both in Florida, and Swaha Sri Ram Dham Center in India. Our educational institutions are Swaha Hindu College in Sangra Grandi and early childhood centers in Arangwes, Sangra Grandi, Pinal and Prisal. The newest center of Swaha, Gyan Jyoti Mandali, of Wall Street Madras Village Kunupia, formally opened its doors to the community in July 2008. Catering to the religious, cultural, and social needs of the community, this center has been adding much jyoti and gyan to all in its environs. Swaha's Vishok Bhavan, our children's home, located on Mohes Road, Pinal, was inaugurated on September 10, 2008, and now provides a safe haven for children. The name Vishok Bhavan means a board of peace, free from worry. And indeed, the residents at this bhavan are afforded this quality of life. The name Swaha Hindu College has been around for eight long years, but it was only on November 17th last year that the doors of this educational institution were actually swung open. Despite many challenges, the resilient principal, Pandit Balram Prasad, and his hard-working staff have been able to maintain high standards of work and discipline of students. Indeed, a test of inner fortitude, sheer grit and faith. Today, this institution houses 425 students with an almost full complement of staff. Unique in its outlook and program of activities, this school supplements the curriculum with meditation classes on a daily basis. It's no surprise then 
that the results at CXC and CAPE are quite exceptional. Cultural celebrations have always held the spotlight at our institutions. In Swaha, the Swadeshi festival is synonymous with Indian Arrival Day. This year, after stiff competition among the various institutions, a gala award ceremony was held at the Learning Resource Center of the University of the West Indies. Ram Leela is an event that brings out the creative talent of a wide range of Swaha membership. In Swaha, this cultural event is done as a stage presentation with all the drama skills spotlighted. Most certainly, the Leela of Sri Ram is well taught through this medium. And now, to religious observances. Having been instructed by Paramacharji that this year would have been a challenging one, many Swaha devotees embarked on a Surya Devta Vrat. This Vrat culminated in a Maha Surya Puja, which was held at Diwali Nagar on April 18, 2010. Swaha celebrates the festival of Ganesh Utsav at various centers and branches. For the past few years, the Visarjan ceremony, the final ritual of this festival, has been conducted at Williams Bay, Shagaramas. Here, many earthen murtis are immersed in the ocean, symbolizing our own efforts of merging with the divine. The celebration of Kartik Nahan has been observed by devotees with much enthusiasm as they make the trek annually to Tidko Resort, Manzanilla to pay obeisance to Bhagwan Vishnu and Ganga Mata. Among its many efforts to create a heightened awareness of the facets of Sanatan Dharma, the inter-temple quiz and essay competition has been growing in participation. It has also found much favor with parents. This year's competition, held at Swaha Gyan Jyoti Mandali, saw six participating groups vie for the challenge trophy. We now come to sports. In Swaha, not only do we pray together, but we also play together. Sports Day brings young and old, preschooler and sixth former, parents and children, all in a day of fun and frolic, spills and thrills, and chairs and tears. And now, briefly to our publications. In order to disseminate the teachings of Sanatan Dharma to a wider audience, Swaha Publications has tapped into various forms of new media. The Upasana series has grown in popularity over the past year. In closing, I would like to echo the words of the Paramacharya. I quote, During the last two years, the organization has held its ground in the Hindu community and has grown from strength to strength. Firstly, nothing would have come to fruition without the perception and insight of the Shankaracharji to whom we bow and salute. Out of his spiritual acumen, Swaha was born and has flourished ever since. To all the centers, branches and executive, past and present, we pay our respects and express our gratitude. Lastly, I want to specially give thanks to all sponsors, corporate and private, who have trusted and believed in the work of Swaha. There is still much to be done. Swaha will continue to work diligently and assiduously for individual and collective spiritual development. Together, with a united and unanimous front, we can make the difference. Swaha Mata Ki Jai Sitara.